Hey you guys, so today I wanted to do a little video of my process of collaging. So today we'll be talking about like composition, maybe some color and like just aesthetics when making, you know, regular photos go to like this to this. All right, so some of my pieces I already got pre-cut. Um, I got some of the idea about where I want to go, the aesthetic behind it. I'm going to take my mother's photo and uh, put a little armor on it. I like to do these little digital type of play-ons to like people and places and stuff, along with some like spiritual influence. But um, yeah, we're gonna kind of replicate this whole portrait style, king and queen kind of thing. So stick with me, I got some pre-cuts already, some pieces I think I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna start my pieces together. All right, with these pieces that are already cut out, because I see I don't have any more pre-cuts, um, we'll talk a little bit about comp composition and where I usually place the stuff. So thinking about just adding external features to a portrait or a person, you know, you know, a lot of research with armor and I'm just watching a lot of like fantasies and you know different action movies and stuff you start to know where things look good at so this piece came from like i think like in here somewhere it's like a piece of her armor but we'll rework that and maybe put it somewhere like there make like a shoulder blade or something you know we got this bad boy i don't think i can see that How's the light? And then maybe you put that as another shoulder blade. When you got, when you have something smaller, like a smaller piece doing shoulder blades and stuff like that, um, you want like something skinnier on this side, something bigger on this side because she's already leaning to, I guess, the right. So this side will be more prominent. This side will show more in the photo. And this will be like what's happening in the, in the, in the on the sides of her. For example, with this one, you put more of the image on him. Well, that's me, but on this side, and then on that side as he's leaning, the cape is shrouding him, the sword and stuff like that. So composition is everything. So with this, we'll do like a little Wanda Maximoff headpiece, something like that. It's not glued down yet, but we're getting somewhere. And with that, I was thinking maybe down here, maybe a little uh, chest plate. So I use Elmer's rubber cement. I've been using it since uh, my first year of college when I learned to do collage, actually. Um, we had a couple projects in the Art Institute and we would have different tools or you know, creative uh, resources to make stuff. And one of my teachers, I think Miss Sinclair, uh, started really promoting collage and like as a way to finish our school projects. And then after that, I just started, you know, doing my own little ones on the side. There's always like residue underneath. So I would take like a marker tip or something, just like hold it in, get this the glue that's under out. This is a fun tool I like to use. It's called a rubber cement pickup. Um, yeah, we learned to use this too as a as a uh, a method to clean up the glue and the residue that you've you know 
paste it down. So as you can see in the light, there's a lot of glue. There's a lot of mess right there. Oh yeah, that's a great, great view. <laughs> but all of that is gonna be gone in a second with this bad boy. So check it out. It goes light. So you just lightly stroke this along the photo, letting all the glue just roll off. And everything down here is like glue from the time and the ages. So whenever you get too much glue on the sides, it doesn't really pick up too much and you'll risk sometimes like pulling up your piece. I went through that a lot of times. So like, I always wanna be like a little, a little uh, cautious with collaging. As that dries, um, I'm taking some glue off, but it's doing a little something, but found some more pieces. I feel like we could try to fit in there. Maybe stuff from there. It's, it's cool because the ones with the curve, you know, you really know you could get like around somebody's like chin or something. This kind of stuff, you really wish you had an X-Acto knife for. Because when you got to hold something this small and get up in that little crevice, becomes like very dangerous but with exactly my like, just place that stuff down slice it and tweezers help too so yeah we got our pieces and we're just gonna see where some things compositionally work so like you know, you always want to take into play like negative space. So I have like this piece here. And there's a lot of negative space right here. I always love negative space. And we got a lot on this side. So, you know, it kind of balances it out when you get something real simple. Um, but this one I'm thinking, you know, could maybe like go on the side of her hair. Cause it, it fits right in there and it looks like a little helmet is now starting to form or I was thinking even down here because now it looks like maybe a piece of her like armor down there these different pieces could always play anywhere but you just want to analyze like your space because you know down here there's a lot of one second there's a lot of stuff already happening down here one two three but then up here there's nothing and you got all this space and stuff like that so it might be better up here and then, you know it just it just settles in all right let's try with these ones so let's go with him and we'll see where this one will fit so we're almost done and i put some new pieces in around the head just create a little like hair helmet kind of thing but I always top it off with like little sayings that I find throughout the comics and when you find like these little one-liners they always fit so perfectly with the piece when you really search but uh, that's another little aesthetic for comic collage. Alright so I just got most of the glue off and um, this is what we have, you know, composition wise, we got word bubbles over here and over here, armor that plays into that, face armor. But that's how you comp compose and, you know, create.